Weezy, I think it's time we changed our furniture. Why? What's wrong with our furniture? It's all brand new. <laughs> I think you've been working too hard, George. You don't understand. Look at this auction catalog. Antiques, Weezy. Antiques. That's what we need. Why do we need an old table full of wormholes? Because <laughs> then wormholes mean money. Well, if they mean money, then we must have been millionaires when we lived in Harlem. <laughs> Termite holes don't count. <laughs> you gotta have them kind made by the French worms. They got class, because they've been dead a long time. <laughs> oh, boy. Woman, what do I have to do to educate you to the fine things in life? Well, paying $2,000 for something we don't need just because it's old isn't fine. It's dumb. I'll tell you what's dumb, trying to argue with a stubborn woman. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Pop. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Pop. Good morning, Lionel. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. Have a seat. Thank you. Maybe I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. And I wouldn't think of getting rid of new furniture for old junk. It ain't old, it's antique. Now, you ever heard of this guy, Louis XV? <laughs> Louis XV? Does he play for the Mets? Don't they teach you nothing in college? I mean, this guy. Oh, Louis the Fifteenth. He was the king of France. Yeah, well, he was a king. He was sure a good carpenter. He made half the stuff in his catalog. <laughs> well, um, if you're going to that auction, be careful. Why? Any little move you make could be mistaken for a bid. Scratch your nose at the wrong time, and you could end up paying through it. <laughs> George, you're not really going to that auction, are you? Sure I am. And you coming with me? Oh, no, I'm not. All right. If you want to be surprised with what I come home with. Okay, I'm coming with you. <laughs> That's my girl. Can't stand to be without me a minute, can you? <laughs> I just want to make sure you don't buy anything I'll be sorry for. Because if there's anything we don't need in this apartment, it's a very old, moth-eaten antique. <laughs> Hello, Mother Jefferson. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Won't you come in? I, uh, I don't see how you can live in a building like this. I just had a very narrow escape. What? Narrow escape? What happened, Mom? The nerve of that man. I have a mind to call the police. What man? That dirty old man that rode up in the elevator with me. Oh, my God. What did he do? He called me Toots. <laughs> hey, that's great, Ma. That means you're still a fox. Save on you. I think he was trying to pick me up. <laughs> well, you know you got one of them old wiggly, jiggly walk. Maybe he just couldn't help himself. I don't think he meant any harm. Well, he didn't mean any good. I don't know why you're so upset nothing happened. You're right, because I'm not that kind of a woman. Besides, I had this hat pin. 